The tension between the candidates was clear from the beginning. There was no traditional handshake. The first question, on character. An opening to discuss the controversial tape released on Friday where Donald Trump talks in obscene and vulgar terms about women. You brag that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. But it was clear he was prepared and steamrolled over every attempt to pin him down. Just for the record, though, are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. For Hillary Clinton, the, the tape thing. was a window to the real Donald Trump. What we all saw and heard on Friday was Donald talking about women, what he thinks about women, what he does to women, and he has said that the video doesn't represent who he is, but I think it's clear to anyone who heard it that it represents exactly who he is. When the debate turned to Hillary Clinton and her emails, Donald Trump insisted if he won the election, he would order a high-level investigation into the issue. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> This was a contentious, spiky, and at times angry debate. Everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? In the first debate, and in the really, first the debate, audience needs to I calm told down people. here. On Syria, both campaigns revealed splits. Hillary Clinton from the current Obama administration with a call for safe zones. And I advocate today a no fly zone and safe zones. And Donald Trump from his own vice presidential pick. He and I haven't spoken, and I disagree. I disagree. You disagree I think with your we running have to man. knock out ISIS. Immediately afterwards, top Trump surrogates were predictably claiming his campaign was no longer in deep trouble. On one side, we saw we saw a president, a, a strong president. On the other side, we saw we saw a uh, a person who has been a failure, a Secretary of State, who can't keep her promises. Everybody watching at home saw someone who will genuinely wake up every day and get out there and fight for the American people. And it doesn't matter. You know what? They can have five moderators next time, and they can all interrupt him every single time. And he's still going to stand up there and fight like heck for the American people because he cares about it that much. Asked to name one good thing about the other, the candidates did. And that it was enough, it appears, to let them end with a handshake. This was a better debate performance by Donald Trump against Hillary Clinton. He may well leave the hall thinking that the controversial tape did little damage and that he handled it as well as he could. But to be clear, this has split the Republican Party in a way we've never seen before an election. His attacks on the moderators and Hillary Clinton may well solidify and delight his base. But he needs more than that if he's going to win the White House. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera at the second presidential debate in St. Louis.